If you're watching this video, you're probably looking for a way to make your day-to-day -day tasks a little bit easier. But how do I do that? You might be wondering. Well, why not automate them? I'm Daisy with WP Forms, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can automate your workflows by sending your WP Forms form entries to other apps by using Make. Make is a powerful automation platform that allows you to connect applications to various services to automate workflows and tasks. Before we begin, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can keep up with all of our latest tips and tricks for WordPress. Starting off in the WordPress dashboard, you'll first need to install and activate the Make add-on, so go to WP Forms, Add-ons, and use the search bar on the right to find the Make add-on. Once the add-on is installed and activated, Open a new tab and head over to make.com and log into your account. Once you're on the Make dashboard, click on the Create New Scenario button on the right-hand side. This will open the Scenario Editor. Click on the plus icon at the center of the page and choose a module to begin with. In our case, we're going to use the search bar and type in WP Forms, then select it from the list. Next, choose the Watch New Form Entries option as your trigger. After selecting this trigger, Make will have you set up a webhook, so click the Create a Webhook button. From there, create a nickname for your webhook and save when you're done. This nickname will be for internal use only. Make will then generate a unique webhook URL. Copy the URL, and we're going to tab back to our WordPress site. Once we're back on our website, we're going to head into the WP Forms form builder. Once inside the form builder, click on the Marketing tab on the left and click on the Make tab, then click on the toggle to enable the Make integration. You should then see two settings appear, Webhook URL and Field Mapping. Paste the Webhook URL we just copied into its respective field. This is the address WP Forms will use to send form entries to your scenario. In the Field Mapping section, you can specify exactly which pieces of form data should be passed along with each submission. To set this up, First, write in a parameter key, which is the label Make will use to identify the data. Then select the corresponding form field from the dropdown beside it. So for example, if I want to send the user's email address, I'm going to write in email as the parameter key, and then use the dropdown next to it to select the email field from my form. You can continue adding more field mappings by clicking the blue plus button, and when you're finished, save your changes. You can now go back to Make, and add another module to your scenario. The next steps will vary depending on what app you end up choosing, but for example, if you choose something like Google Sheets, Gmail, or Trello, you can do things such as add a row in Google Sheets when a form is submitted, send an email through Gmail, or create a task in Trello. Just be sure to test your automation before you go live. Once you've set everything up, click the Run Once button in the Scenario Editor and submit a test entry through your form to make sure everything is working as it should. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to connect your contact forms to make and create an automation. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, where you can find step-by-step -step written guides for all of our features, add-ons, and more. You can also join our WP Forms VIP Circle group on Facebook to learn even more tips and tricks, as well as be part of the growing WP Forms community. If you need any extra help, please visit our contact page and reach out to our support team. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.